most people have tried their hand at feeding birds and if you have done that you know that you've probably had to deal with squirrels squirrels get on those bird feeders and it just drives people bananas and this video is going to explain how to set up a normal bird feeder nothing fancy none of these fancy you know squirrel deterrents but just a normal bird feeder using what we've learned over the last couple of years about the capabilities of squirrels how to set them up in a way where the squirrels just can't get to them it's not difficult you just have to be pretty precise in your measurements and how you set it up and i can almost guarantee it's going to keep the squirrels off now keep in mind these are for cat squirrels which we call down in louisiana cat squirrels anyway they're gray squirrels the most prominent squirrel in north america now if you have all these other crazy squirrels then i can't promise you that this is going to work our data is just for cat squirrels or gray squirrels so i hope this will help y'all out now i understand some of you have these super squirrels at your places that uh normal physics just don't apply so uh your squirrels with superpowers this video is probably not for you and i'm not sure what to tell you about uh about hanging your bird feeders other than set up a video camera start a youtube channel and how about we see these super squirrels that can jump nine feet straight off the ground, you know, onto a bird feeder. I've seen them with my own eyes. Uh, how about let's see some video. <laughs> so there's two different ways to set up bird feeders. Uh, hanging from a tree by a rope or a, a, a wire or maybe a chain. And, uh, and the second way is to, to, to hang a bird feeder from something that's mounted onto the ground, either a, a, a pole or some kind of flower hook or, or, or something like that. And the squirrels get on these bird feeders uh, uh, different ways, so we're going to look at them as, as kind of separate things. And the way you set them up and the measurements are going to be a little bit different between the two. So uh, the first thing, let's look at the bird feeder that's mounted uh, into the ground onto a hook. Okay, so the first way a squirrel is going to get on a, uh, a pole-mounted uh, bird feeder is jumping from the tree or, or a fence or anything that's close enough for them to get elevated on and jump horizontal. Okay, so we saw in a previous video, and I'll put a link down below, that a cat squirrel, the farthest I could get a cat squirrel to jump for his favorite food was 8 feet 6 inches. So to prevent a squirrel from jumping horizontally onto your bird feeder, you want to make sure that you are a minimum of 8 feet 6 inches, but let's, let's give it a little bit of cushion. Let's say 9 feet. You want to have your bird feeder 9 feet or more from the closest vertical object that the squirrel can climb up and jump onto your feeder. Nine foot seems to be, or eight foot six, I couldn't get a squirrel to make it that distance. So let's do nine foot and I'm pretty comfortable that that's going to work. All right, so the next thing a squirrel is going to do is he's going to jump from the ground onto the bird feeder. And uh, again, we've heard stories about oh, the squirrel that jumped nine feet straight up, you know, from the ground. Well, after several months of, of data that we collected, uh, we could not get a squirrel to even attempt to jump at 47 inches. So you're gonna be safe at 48 inches. So what you wanna do is make sure the bottom of your bird feeder is set to a minimum of 48 inches and that should prevent a squirrel from jumping from the ground onto your bird feeder. I think you're gonna be good to go, 48 inches. All right, so the last way a squirrel is gonna get on your bird feeder is to, uh, is to climb up whatever your pole is. And uh, other than greasing a piece of PVC or something, which is probably not real healthy for your birds, uh, uh, I've seen squirrels climb up uh, PVC, metal posts, uh, obviously wood. So there's not much you're gonna be able to put up here that a squirrel can't shimmy up. So we've had great luck. We've never had a squirrel get by uh, a single baffle mounted from the bottom and you want to mount this about three foot up so he can't jump over it but uh, they don't seem to they don't seem to even uh, attempt to do this I don't know if it just looks funny to them or what but for this setup we've never ever had a squirrel get past this single baffle setup so this is going to prevent your squirrel or, or squirrels from getting on on your bird feeder from up the pole Okay, so this is what a, 
a, a, a, squir a gray squirrel, cat squirrel proof bird feeder looks like. All right, so we are nine foot from the closest vertical object that the squirrel can jump on, that the squirrel can jump from onto the bird feeder. We are 48 inches from the ground to the bottom of the bird feeder, and we are preventing him from coming up the pole with a single baffle. And this bird feeder has been out for two months now, and uh, we have, I've set the camera up, and we've never had a squirrel get on this bird feeder. But uh, we're not just making this stuff up. This comes from a lot of data and a lot of uh, videos that we've recorded trying to test the limits on, a, on the cat squirrel's capabilities. So we're comfortable that, that, you know, almost a sure thing that this is gonna keep the squirrels off your, off your, uh, off your bird feeder. All right, so this is gonna be about a, a, a feeder that's hanging from a limb or a branch or, or, or something like that. So three ways a squirrel is gonna get on your feeder here. The first one, as your other one, uh, you know, as the one that's, that's ground mounted is uh, from the closest vertical object that they can climb up and jump from onto your feeder. So uh, we wanna make sure that it's set up at least eight feet, six inches, a little bit of cushion, Let's say we want to set up your bird feeder at least nine foot from the closest vertical object. And there we go. That's going to prevent your squirrels from getting to your feeder from jumping vertical. All right, so again, like the, like the pole mounted feeder, we want to make sure that this feeder is a minimum of 40 seven inches, let's call it 48. We wanna make sure it's at least 48 inches from the ground, bottom of the feeder to the ground, 48 inches, and that'll prevent them from jumping from the ground up on the feeder. All right, so here's our bird feeder that's, that's hanging. And so you would think a single baffle above would do the trick like the like the like you know like the bird feeder that's standing uh, up from from a hook or something from the ground but uh, as we saw in a previous video a single baffle does not work at all uh, they get past that single baffle pretty doggone frequently so if you want to prevent your squirrel from shimming down whatever you're hanging your bird feeder from you have to use a double baffle with about a three foot span in between them. And we've used this now for also about two months and we have not had a single squirrel make, make it past the double baffle method. And uh, I believe in it. I think it's, it's good, it works, and uh, it sure is entertaining to see them try it. So, uh, so there we go. Okay, so this is what our, our, our bird feeder that's hanging from a limb or a tree or something like this looks like. This is 100% squirrel proof. We have not had a squirrel get on this feeder yet. Uh, we are four foot from the ground, number one. We are nine foot plus from the closest vertical object that the squirrel can jump from onto the feeder. And then I don't think it matters what you hang your feeder with. And this, you know, all this PVC and chain is from, a, from another video, another experiment. But I don't think it matters what you hang your bird feeder from as long as you have a double baffle with about a three foot span in between them. And you are not going to have a squirrel that gets past that. So that's what the perfect squirrel proof bird feeder looks like that's, that's hanging from a limb. Hope you all enjoyed and got something out of this. Uh, we spent a lot of time and energy analyzing these squirrels' capabilities, and uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. We had a lot of, uh, a lot of fun videos come out of it, and we'll leave the link uh, to all of those below. But uh, basically, we feel like we're leaving you with two different methods to protect your bird feeders from gray squirrels, and I uh, hope it works out for y'all. And if it doesn't, I want to see the video. <laughs> all right, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.